Welcome back to V Rule. We have some news to get into, so let's take a look at it. Jump it over here. 2023. Ash, Ketchum, and Pikachu. They left. <laughs> they left the anime. That's okay. Life goes on. And to be honest, uh, even though I am focused on a hobby that I was as a child, I think it's okay that it develops and grows and changes. And with that in mind, early 2023, we had that change. It was a little bit sad to see because it just shifted everything, everything that was original. But it doesn't mean it can't exist in the same space as it always has. And you have different different people coming into the anime, different people coming into the TCG, different people coming into the games. Time goes on, whether we like it or not. Uh, once upon a time, I'm trading cards in the backyard with my friends. And now here I am, got some gray in my beard, and talking about it. So uh, things change, and that's okay. So with that change, we have already part three of the Pokemon Horizon series releasing on Netflix. Um, just some B-roll here showing you a little bit of that, but it looks like it's actually a pretty decent anime. And I know I know, not everybody's into the anime. I, I have not watched this at all, other than this trailer here. I have not watched this at all. But I can say... Um, you know, I was introduced to the animated series of the Star Wars Clone Wars, and I thought at first, like, eh, looks like it's for kids, I'm really not interested in watching it, and then I tried a couple episodes, uh, and I got into it, and I watched that whole series. So, it's okay. Nobody's gonna care if you're watching this stuff. This is for your entertainment, and it's for all sorts of ages. Maybe it hits differently at this age, watching it, kind of remembering what it was like as a kid, or you're watching it for the first time because you're new to the hobby. Um, so nothing wrong with watching it, but I just want to let you know that, hey, part three is out, and, and that is coming to you uh, if you have Netflix or availability to it. We have the World's Championship coming up, all right? There's a preview show that was done on Twitch and on the YouTube channel for Pokemon's official sites there. Uh, this was just a few days ago, August 9th, they had done this. And with that, they released some music I guess there were, what, seven new songs, and then a, a few others that were for, used in the past at different championships. So I thought this was interesting, just finding the, the different songs. And actually, we can come over here to the YouTube channel and take a look. Uh, so Pokemon official YouTube channel here. These are the different songs right here. You can kind of see from their, their different uh, header here. So these must be the seven new ones, where they're listed, and then a couple previous for the Pokemon International logo on there, so just kind of reposting those older ones. Uh, I've actually given a couple of these a listen, and they're not just, you know, garbage little songs to throw out there. They're like full-on produced, really nice <laughs> music. Um, interesting, for sure. And I don't know if this is what's going to be playing all over at the different, uh, you know, different areas throughout the, the World Championship, or you're just going to hear these if you're in person there. Unfortunately, I won't be going. Um, Honolulu would be fantastic to attend to, but uh, other obligations can't be can't be attending this one. Um, and I don't know when when it'll happen where I get to go to these, but uh, in the future I, I could see this happening, and it'd be really cool to just take my family along for the ride and let them enjoy a little vacation and and seeing something something new and getting out there to, to enjoy Pokemon this way. Uh, but these songs are actually a good listen. There's a lot of great content on here. Uh, if you have the time to sift through it, links for all each of the songs is in the description below, as well as just the link to the Pokemon uh, channel here. So if you're looking to get into that and take a look, give them a listen. They're actually pretty good there. McDonald's, we talked about this last time, about Japan having a collab with them. And in the McDonald's of Japan, they're releasing all these different toys. And now we see <clears throat> it's coming back to the States in 2024, but they're coming back as cards. We don't have any previews. We don't have any information. There's no dates on it yet. We just know that it's happening. Uh, so later this year, is that going to be in a couple months? Is it going to be late fall? Is it going to be into the, the Christmas season? I don't know for sure, but it's said to be in, uh, in 2024. The fact that they're listing out October and November, uh, that's fine, but that's a wide range. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be pushing a little bit closer to November. If they had an October date, I feel like we'd see it at this point. I mean, they're, we're not that far. Sadly, we're not that far. Time just flies by. So, <clears throat> will it come out there? I don't know. I mean, Trotted Fable still can't get the rest of the release out on, on those ETBs. So, uh, no date. I'm thinking it's November. 
even then being it that wide open it could go into December and get closer to the Christmas season but we'll see and these are so easy to pick up on the secondary market you don't have to go buy a bajillion happy meals just to try to collect them all it's great for kids it's fun it's a little different experience rather than just a garbage plastic toy that's gonna break in two minutes that you have the option to open some packs so if you and your kids are into it uh, it's a really good time you can buy them separately usually uh, depending on your McDonald's that you would go to and then the outside of that people get these things by the cases and then they unpackage everything and build out full sets that you can get uh, usually in like the $20 range so don't don't overexert yourself on how you're obtaining these um, I don't think we have enough of a craze in Pokemon that we should feel like these are gonna sell out instantly so uh, I I would go for the secondary market if you're interested in getting that small collection that's usually like 15 or so cards uh, that come out through that so uh, just just something to look out for I thought this was interesting and it kind of brought me back a little bit a Pokemon fan makes a unique cast form evolutions so this is something that I remember doing as a kid where I'd sit down and just kind of sketch and draw and it was just to see you know hey what would the next evolution line look like if it didn't have it or could I reimagine this Pokemon usually the the original form I didn't reimagine but the evolutions I thought needed a tweak because I you know as a kid I, I had my own ideas and it was just fun to draw it out but uh, these days I mean people are just doing so great with their artwork it's really fun to see it happen where they put this stuff out there so cast form evolutions leave names uh, suggestions below so uh, we don't have names on these but just an idea of this particular cast form evolving into a couple different stages I thought that was interesting and uh, something to think about if you're into any sort of art or drawing or design work or anything like that you know have fun mess around with it a little bit and, and put your spin on these things and how you can make something new out of it because you never know where you might be able to use that kind of thing in fact the illustration contest for 2024 has recently been narrowed down to the top 100 uh, several weeks back we looked at the top 300 but now we're down to the top 100 and I didn't look at the, the group of 300 and see where they pulled out and you know compare contrast what might have been missed the 200 that are missing from this but I, I don't want to play that game it's somebody else's job to be judging it so just now that we have the top 100 it's cool to skim through and there's a few that stand out to me uh, as artworks that I wouldn't mind seeing there was in particular a Bidoof artwork that stood out and I thought it was quite interesting I really like that Pikachu there I don't know what it is about the the style that I seem to be gravitated towards it's just things that jump out completely different here's here's that Bidoof that I thought was really interesting uh, and would do well as a card so there's there's a lot of different uh, different versions here of this Pokemon of these Pokemon rather and all the different artists listed below but they've narrowed it down to the top 100 so I would suggest going to take a look and seeing what comes out of here that's pretty cool I don't know if I'm just kinda into this you know keeping it really simple style or something I don't know why it's drawing my eye there so much um, Yep, that Charizard I was hoping would keep up in the running, so that's cool. And just seeing some of them narrowing down into this uh, is pretty interesting. The <clears throat> the EX cards kind of bother me that they went this route to have an EX card. That's fine, and to these artists, great job, all of that um, narrowing down. I think they should have done Illustration Rare or Special Illustration Rare instead of just an EX card to give give these people a chance to do a full a full page. I mean, a page, it's, it's a tiny little thing. What do I have here? I just got one of these ogre ponds here you know a full card top to bottom side to side getting all that in there and giving the artist an opportunity to to really go wild instead of focusing just so heavily on the Pokemon themselves so maybe it was a missed opportunity maybe that's a future contest I don't know uh, because you only have so much it's a tiny canvas and these people are packing a ton in there so you never know start out by just messing around making new evolutions of cast form and you could lead to here where you're cramming all this into one little scene uh, you know putting in the whole landscape and the Pokemon and featuring them in the way you see in your vision as an artist but that's it for uh, this week's Pokemon news oh my gosh I can't even believe I didn't mention it once ah, we got a giveaway we have a giveaway for that Galarian Articuno 10 that's going out to one lucky winner we have two three pack blisters for uh, Stellar Crown going out to two additional winners and a Pokemon Mystery Prize going out to a fourth winner. That's right, four winners overall. 
What do we need? Well, we here, VRule, needs 2,500 subscribers to let this go. All right, 2,500 subscribers on the channel, and that's what makes it happen. That's the trigger to do the giveaway. How do you enter the giveaway? You go back to this video here. That's the one you need to go back to and comment on that video. I don't care what you comment. I don't really mind what you say. It'd be really helpful to know where you came from. So if it was on this video, reference the video, you know? Narrowing down Pokemon Illustration Rare or Illustration Contest to 100. That video brought me here. You know, let me know that what you're watching there, that content is of value to you. But enter, enter over there. All right, that's where you're gonna enter. So I can pull the comments, make sure I have everybody there. If you've done it before already, just leave your comment down below on this video here. Make sure you like this video, and of course you must be a subscriber. That's the whole point. 2,500 subscribers, then we get there for that giveaway i think that's everything can't believe i missed it in the beginning i try to hand that out right in the beginning but that's the thing it's a long-term giveaway until we hit that threshold 2500 subscribers i'll see you tomorrow peace